Hello and welcome to Elastic Cloud, a suite of Elastic powered software as a service offerings from Elastic, the creators of Elastic Search, Kibana, Beats, and Logstash. Today I'll show you how easy it is to get started with deploying an Elastic Search cluster on Azure. Let's get started from the Microsoft Azure Marketplace. Search for Elastic Cloud. Notice there are other Elastic products such as Elastic Cloud Enterprise. We want to click Elastic Cloud Managed Service, which is a software as a service offering within Azure. Take some time to read through the key features. Click Get It Now. You must agree to the terms in order to continue. Click Set Up and Subscribe. Choose the appropriate subscription and assign a name such as My First ES for Elasticsearch Cluster. Then click Review and Subscribe. Confirm the contact details and then click Subscribe. Once the Elastic Cloud Software as a Service subscription is complete, click Configure Account Now. This will redirect you to the Elastic site where you'll be able to fill out a sign-up form. Once complete, you will receive a confirmation email that will allow you to log in. Once you've logged in, you'll be ready to create your first deployment. You will see the Create Your First Deployment page where we'll click Create Deployment. There are a number of types of use cases to build your deployment solution from, such as bringing your logs, metrics, and APM traces together at scale in a single stack so you can monitor and react to events happening anywhere in your environment by using the Elastic Observability Solution. Please visit elastic.co forward slash products to get more information about each solution. Let's just stick with the Elastic Observability Solution to get started. The Azure provider is selected through the Marketplace integration. You can optionally change the region and the version, but we will leave the defaults. Elastic Cloud Managed Service on Azure always gives you access to the latest version of the Elastic Stack, security patches which are available the day they are released, and of course technical support. There are monitoring and security options. Time to name the deployment. Try something like my first ES for Elasticsearch cluster. We can customize this deployment, though at this time it's not necessary. Adjusting compute power and enabling features such as machine learning is simple within the Elastic Cloud console at any time, allowing you to grow when you need. At this point, we've done all we need to to get started, sticking with the defaults. Aren't recommended defaults great? Let's just click Create Deployment. Grab yourself a quick refreshment. We'll be able to launch Kibana in just a few minutes. In the meantime, please note that all Elasticsearch service deployments have security enabled by default. During the initial deployment process, a strong password for the Elastic user is generated and provided to you in order to access Kibana, your window into the Elastic stack. Be sure to visit elastic.co forward slash Kibana for more great information. Make sure to save this password in a secure place, although of course it can be reset very easily by clicking Reset Your Deployment Password or through the security link to the left. Our deployment has been provisioned, so we're ready to jump right into Kibana. Click Open Kibana. Since we're just getting started with Elasticsearch Service on Azure and Kibana, let's click Try Our Sample Data to start driving real-world data queries. A great way to learn data exploration in Kibana. Choose one of the three sample data options. I personally like the sample flight data. Click Add Data to get started. Once loaded, click View Data, then Dashboard. Check out all the different types of visualizations that can be brought together in one dashboard. Be sure and visit elastic.co forward slash learn to get free training. Check out all the videos as well at elastic.co forward slash videos. Check out all the amazing features of Elastic Cloud on Azure by signing up today.